Hello fellow floss tubers. It's been about a month since I've been on here. Um, since that time I've got a new computer and I'm trying a new program that's the o OBS Studios that my son hooked me up with. So I have a brand new computer and I'm hoping it's going to help. Um, on top of that, hello fellow floss tubers. Thanks for coming back. Um, like I said, it's been a month and I've done a whole bunch of stuff, but some of that stuff was given away at Christmas time and I just didn't um, post it and show it. So if you're uh, if you're following me on a blog, then you'll um, see where what I've done and that what I haven't shown on here. So anyway, um, I noticed that a lot of you are doing a whole bunch of different things and I did sign up for uh, Stitch Along and it's one of those um, modern folk art, I don't know if it's studios or something. Anyway, I'm working on that. So I'm waiting on the fabric and the floss to show up for that and then I'm going to get started on it. Um, I was working with Xjude Designs and we came up with a real pretty... Um, dyed fabric and floss and sh and they made a, a lot of a floss for me so I should be good to go and so um, I got a message today saying that it's in the mail so I can't wait to get that and I've been working with her for about a week trying to figure out what to do because I kept trying to think of what colors I wanted to use and stuff like that so I can't wait and when that comes in I'll probably do another um, quick video I'm not sure how the resolution is going to come out on this because I'm looking at it and it's not looking that good, but we'll see. So lately, um, I did finish a project, I'm happy to say, and so I did finish the Marabilia, and so there she is. Isn't she pretty? I'm real happy with that. Um, that one... The beading was fun. I really enjoyed doing the beading. I was surprised at how long it took, but um, the beading really brought it out, and so it's it's really cool. So um, I'm not going to get it framed just yet. We went through a whole bunch of stuff in the last two months, and I don't think that we need to spend any more money. So anyway, and then um, so I went back to working on her. Whoops, my patriotic angel. So that's as far as I've got her right now. And like I said, if you're following me on the blog, you'll see what I've been doing. I've also been quilting on my daughter Kat's quilt, uh, the black and white quilt. And I don't show that on here. Excuse me, itching again. Plus I'm coming out, you know, coming off a cold. So that's why I didn't, didn't do this last week. So anyway, and then, um, so for Christmas, my husband was a sweetheart. He got me a new laptop, which is what this is recording on. And then um, he also got me this. Isn't that cool? I had that on Amazon um, wanting to get it. And so he went ahead and got it. And then I also had those um, fabric color boards, which I didn't bring out. Um, anyway, so the boards... But I wanted the other one instead of the one he got, which is fine. So um, I may get the other one later. We'll see. So, and then um, I went on Stitchery and I got this. Would you believe this pattern took two weeks to get to me? They mailed it on a third and I got it last Thursday. So it took three. It took through two weeks, two full weeks to get here, and it went through FedEx. Can you believe that? But then I remembered that there's uh, there was some snow and stuff going on in the in uh, New England states. So I'm okay with that. And then I also bought, and I can't remember if I got this one on. No, it wasn't the stitchery. I got it somewhere else. But one of my one of the things I ordered is on back order. Don't you just love that? You pay for it, but then it's on back order. Great. But then I got this because this was on sale. And I thought, you know, it's gorgeous. I just had to have it. Christmas time. So, 
that's basically, other than my uh, Brazilian embroidery, which I don't have out to show you, I was working on that. Um, if you go to my blog, you'll see what I've been working on. And I also have a Brazilian embroidery blog where every time I work on my embroidery, uh, it's on there. But this is more for cross-stitch, and I think um, we're good. So, as you can see, um, I am still working on my stuff. I'm still having fun. And um, I tend to do more on my blog because I do that every day. So I will put a post down below on that. Um, I'm not one to tell everybody that I'm on a blog or even I don't tell everybody that I'm on Flosstube either. So um, those of you that see me or check out my blog are the only ones that know that I'm there because I kind of keep it kind of quiet. One of the gals at um, Quilting, she knows that I do the blog. And she's been passing the blog along to other people, too. But I'm kind of boring, truthfully. Um, my blogs are basically on what I'm working on. And you can kind of tell what kind of mood I'm in in that day. So, um, I don't know. We're just good. I don't, um, I don't advertise other people's blogs and I don't advertise other people's um, floss tubes I just go to them and enjoy them when I can and um, I figure that if anybody comes across mine and they like it then thank you um, but like I said I'm more boring than anything so I'm gonna go ahead and see what this looks like uh, hopefully It'll work out good, and the resolution's a little bit better than what I see on the on the computer. But I've been having trouble doing um, floss tube, and in case you haven't noticed, with all my other blogs, uh, not blogs, my other floss tubes. So I, I keep trying to improve, um, and that's probably why I don't get on as much because I haven't really been happy with the the results. So if everything goes good, we will. And who knows, um, I may just put that pattern of her, I may have a drawing to see who wants the pattern. It's not like I'm going to do her again. Uh, I changed the colors on her. I like the colors that I did. Um, and I have it sitting over there and I need to put it away. But I'm almost thinking that if somebody wants it, I'll probably just give it to them or send it to them. Um, I haven't decided. I'm on Instagram, so you always see me posting something on Instagram. I don't post... I don't post a lot of my uh, quilting stuff because that's on my blog. And quilting is kind of hard to take a picture of while you're working on it and hand quilting it. Um, yeah, it just doesn't work out. So the things I work on are on the blog and they're on Instagram. So find me there <laughs> and thanks for checking me out and have a great day and excuse this hairdo, you know, thing. Um, it's just been one of those days. So take care and thanks for stopping by.